Hey guys, welcome back to some more AFK Arena. Today we're over on the test server and we are looking at the brand new Voyage of Wonder. Now, before you get all crazy about the depths of time three, I do have to warn you guys, this is an instance we have to run four times. That is right, it wasn't a typo, didn't misspeak. We have to run the depths of time three four total times to allow you to get all of this loot. So get ready for the video. So in here, we do have Stargazer cards, which is good. We got five common scrolls, so not even a full summon there. Looking at the loot here, quite a bit of resources. We got some red chests in there. So on par, the Voyage of Wonder rewards are pretty good. But again, we're going to have to see how difficult this is going to be to run four times. So we're, we're going to go through this. This is actually the first encampment you're going to do. We're going to talk to this camp. There's Rowan for a little... Um, little conversation then we're actually gonna just move down from here um we're unable to advance i guess around from here the actual other spot we want is looking at this little teleporter in the bottom we got to reveal reveal the map first to figure out exactly where we're going but this is the little teleporter we wanted to hit remember just like the other depths of time it is both sides so we'll actually go through this side and again we're gonna have to path through a lot of this and there appears Zorath. So we're actually going to go up all through this to the far, far north. Ultimately going up here to figure out exactly which way to go, but it does give us relics in here. So very, very nice. So we're actually going to continue our progression. We are trying to get to these camps right up here to the north. All right, so once we get through that camp, we're going to actually continue up a little bit more north. These are the camps we want to get to, which are right here. So here you actually want to go ahead and rummage in this camp. We found the tatted entry permission. So now we're going all the way back to our beginning point, and we're going to teleport to the left to continue up to the north. So there we go. So now we're actually going to go up this way. To the gate because we have permission to go through there's a little dialogue from Zorath again so now we'll actually go talk to the city gates and now we'll get through these city gates there we go so now we have permission to get through and again guys this is the first time we're running through this so ultimately i'm hoping when we come back in this is all going to be revealed up here we're actually going to tap on both of these Thanks for coming. We have to have the Mauler Woman. And there's also another one in here that you have to tap. There we go. So we got both those right out of there. Which again brings us to kind of a very, very difficult story that we're going through. Because now we're actually going to go back to town and talk to town again. There we go. A little bit more dialogue there. Now we're actually moving up to come through where the villages are. And there's a kind owner. We're just passing right by him, but we're actually going to go up to the smaller gate. We're going to talk to the smaller gate because remember, you may pass because we have the two parts where we talk to the little kids. It is essentially the big part. So it does change something on the other side. Now we're actually going to go around and talk to this town, which again, this one is super complex. I cannot imagine. So here we're actually going to request help. So this time we're not going to talk. We're going to request help. From there we go, old man Arden. And now let's see, we're going to go back to this teleporter down in the bottom and then all the way up to the other side. Because remember, when we talked to the Maulers on this side, it actually let us go or, or changed the map on this side. So we're actually going to go all the way back up here and continue all the way to this top. And every time that we go through here, every time that we reset this, it's going to change. All right, so continuing up here, we're gonna grab our treasure. Got one more camp. There we go, pretty easy camp there. Bunch of Skaras falling. And right before that was a bunch of Sauruses. So now we're actually gonna head down into our left Looking to pick up a crystal chest this way. It's showing there is another chest over on this side that we have to get through. Ah, there we go. 
So overall, very interesting camps in here. So far, it's been a lot of just five of the same, like right there, triple Brutus or five Brutuses. Again, kind of another interesting camp there. So we're going to pick up our first crystal chest here, which is very, very nice. So now we're actually going to go through and go around. So we're actually going to go around this way. Um, to pick up, I think, a couple more chests. I don't think there's any other way to get to the other side. So let's go down and around this side. So not too bad. With our Shamira carry, she does absolutely awesome. There we go. We pick up another chest over here. We'll go with some more crit. All right, so we figured it out to actually go into this spot. You have to pick up the blessing from this little cabin right here. Um, if you do not pick up the blessing, you cannot go through essentially this little piece right here. So now we can continue up to this altar. So here we're going to go ahead and search the altar, which is going to change it on this side. Here we go. So we searched it. We already got the artifact out of there. Now we're actually going to come back down here after we picked up that blessing and go up to the temple up to the left. So all the way back up here to this temple, we are going to place the relic in the temple, allowing us to pass. There we go. So we place the relic. Of course, it changes this on this side. So now back through the teleporter again. And then all the way up, we're doing the exact same thing on the very top. Boom, there we go. So now all the way to the very top of the map, it is actually going to be right up there. There we go. So we are going to open this one up. There we go. Even more power. Now we got Aziz in here as well. So now we're crossing this little place to fight off this battle of chief enemies. All right, guys, bringing some solid crowd control in there. Definitely running Pharrell. So now that place is empty. So now we're going right back, you guessed it, all the way back to our portal. I feel like in this voyage, we are just running literal circles around this place. So now remember the altar we used in the beginning. We actually placed our relic right here. So we are going to continue up on the left side of the coast. There we go. Not too bad. Bringing some crowd control in here really does help a lot. All right, so this one we're actually looking to move up and to the right. And now we finally got the map unveiled. This one we are not going to fight. So this chief enemies you actually want to leave. There is the freakish leader Brutus. This is the camp you want to take out right here is this chief enemy camp. All right, so we took out that camp. Boom, there's our crystal chest. This time it actually teleported us to the side. There is our crystal chest, guys. So this does it for the first time. This is the very, very first clear. Boom, we got the crystal chest there. Very nice five Stargazer cards. So now actually you gotta just drop out. There we go. So we got quite a bit of it done. So that's kind of crazy. Finish adventure. And here we go, guys right back into beginning the adventure for phase two. So this is gonna be the second time that we're going through this. Again, it is going to change up every time. So this one, we're actually gonna go through here. We're gonna run up this way and talk to this camp. So we wanna actually get up to that in runes and then we're gonna go ahead and talk to them and we're gonna choose different things that we did before. So move up here, we'll take out a couple of these camps. Kind of a tougher battle there than we just had last time. Last time it seemed like it was pretty easy to get through there, but that one was a lot tougher. So not too bad on that one. We'll grab a shard here and we're gonna go ahead and rummage through here. There we go, we found our permit. Now we can go back and go through the gate. Just like we did the first time, guys, we're gonna go through the, the gate. 
And this time we're going to go back and do the same. We are actually going to request a blessing again, making sure that we get the blessing. So Zolrath is enjoying himself as we just seen there. There we go. Why is the permit so tattered? So we're going to go around and here we are. We are going to get, we're going to request help. And we are going to request help and then the blessing. We do need the blessing a second time. There we go. Arden's going to help us make sure you get the blessing. Boom, the forest has blessed, blessed you. Now the forest will protect us. So now again, running in a circle. We're going to go up and take the relic that we did in the last one. There we go. So moving up here, we are actually going to grab this relic, but we got to take out these camps really quick. So let's just move over. We'll take out both of these camps and then we'll go pick up that relic again. So not too bad with that one. Again, we'll go with our shards of force. All right. So we're moving up here to pick up this relic. So we'll actually go ahead and search. We'll pick this side up. There we go. Removing this one because we'll place our relic on there. Now back through our gate that I think we've hit a lot of times at this point. There we go. So let's go up to our northern altar and we'll place our relic on there. Ultimately, we're doing this one to take out the Brutus camp we just seen a little bit ago. Um, hopefully we can take that one out. Boom, that is gone. Again, changing things on the other side of the world. We get into two more camps. All right, so not too bad there. We'll go ahead and get some damage reduction. Could have done it. All right, so we're going full, full bore on this camp here. This is the one that you want to kill, the Brutus camp. There he is, the freakish leader. So not too bad overall. There is Zolrath. So there is the fruits of our labor. They teleport us over here. There's Belinda in Rose. Just a little bit of dialogue to click through here, or a lot of dialogue to click through here. There we go. They found shelter up there from the burning village. They said they want to make us stay safe. And there we go, guys. So there is our crystal chest which will conclude it for the second part of this adventure. That is right, guys, a four-part adventure. So we'll actually go out of here. We'll reset this one more time. We got the other crystal chest, so let's finish the adventure. And let's go back into it one more time. This one, again, we're going to start right towards the bottom. And we're going up to talk to the exact same place we did last time which is this camp right up to the north to go ahead and start our events in motion. So third time, not too bad there. Actually got through it relatively easy. All right, so this one, we're gonna do the same. So we're gonna go up here. We're gonna rummage through here for our ticket, going back to go ahead and go through the portal for a third time, or excuse me, go through the gate for our third time. And then we're going to go up and we are going to request help with the blessing one more time. There we go. We'll talk to the door, get this all open. Boom. We'll come up. We'll request help again. And make sure you get the blessing. We'll click it one more time. Get the blessing there. There we go back through the bottom door again once we got that blessing remember we can go through the forest unscathed we're going to go up here to our camps for a third time and we'll make our progression through here so not too bad overall on that fight did lose a couple heroes all right, so again, we're going to move up to the top, hit up this little altar to take this altar piece, and then right back down to go ahead through this portal. I think this portal absolutely loves us. We've been through this thing like a dozen times. Then we're going up to the same altar we did the last two times. Boom, there we go. We're going to place our relic. 
Now, once we place the relic, then we're going to go through. There we go. We change this side as well. So coming up to these camps. All right, so we got the first one down pretty easy. We'll stick with the Greyborn there. All right, so that camp is down as well. So the next thing we're actually going to look at are these towns. So we are going to begin the battle and we're going to destroy all of these camps. You have to kill all of the camps. As you can see, just level one um, heroes here. So we're going to run around and destroy all of these camps, guys. And there are a lot of them. So there we go. So we took out the Mauler camp. We're going to take out all three camps that are up here. Just a very quick battle in here because they're all level one. So I guess Zorath wants us to be a little bit demented here. Or Lilith does because we're just taking out camps of essentially children. We've got a couple more camps, but then we have a bunch of camps. Just in time to figure out what to write in this love letter. Boom, there we go. Took out this camp as well. Down here, we're also going to kill the inn. It even gave us the option to kill the inn. All right, so there we go. We have a very, very kind owner willing to help us out when we needed something earlier. But now we've come back in this version to kill everybody. Even though we got some good blessings here, we're going to go ahead and kill Arden in his cabin. Then I think we're gunning for Rowan next. And Zolrath is absolutely just loving it. So let's come and question these guys. There we go. Are you insane? We are completely insane because we've already ran this. This is our third attempt, Rowan. So I do apologize, but got a point there. You've unleashed a psycho. How could you do this? This is awful. I will fight you. Feel free. Boom. There we go. I think Zolrath is now going to be very happy with us. Thank you. Everything is in chaos. Which actually gives us, I think that's all of the, maybe this one too. We even got to kill the memorial. Because this will give us one golden chest. That is what we just murdered the entire Voyage of Wonder for. Is one chest. I'm not sure if there's any other camps that we got to, we got to take out on the side. Maybe the mall or gate. Don't forget the gate, guys. Not sure if there's anyone to talk to there. It doesn't look like it. But I think this is all the camps, unless we got this little one. We even got to kill the town hall center. That was the one we missed. There we go. So there's a pretty girl in the town hall center. Boom. It took out Rigby there. We're challenging me. There's nothing. Save it, my dear mortal. So through here, and we will actually pick up a chest. There we go, guys. So all of our murder and mayhem was for this one single chest. There we go. We got it. All right, guys. So we are close. Stick with me just a little bit more. We have one more chest to pick up. So here we go, we'll finish our adventure the fourth and final time with our Depths of Time. So we're going to go through here and we're going to start in the top. So we're actually going to talk to Rowan here and then it looks like we, I think we take down Verk later. But right now we're just going to talk to the Mysterious Merchants. So there we go, Rowan is talked to. Now we're going through the portal. We're already pretty good at this because we know we're going to the top to go ahead and talk to the innkeeper first. But first, we got Zorath to deal with. So this one, we're actually going to go to this town. I believe it's this town. Nope, not yet. So this one, we're actually going up 
All right, so the first battle this time, the, the fourth time, not too bad. Let's go up to the common enemies up here. All right, so not too bad there either. We'll go ahead and pick up some accuracy. And there we go. We're going to rummage in here to get our ticket. So that is the first thing we want to do. So all four times you come in here, you'll pick up that ticket. And we're going to run through and we're going to open up the gate just like we've seen before. Then we're going to pick up the children. All right, so let's go ahead and talk through this gate. Remember the two points we've seen before, um, we are going to pick up the children, which are these two points right here. There we go. And we wanna grab this one as well. So there are two points for the mauler use. Now we're going to bring them back to town. There we go. So we brought them back to town, which is good. Now let's go back to our gate. We'll open up this gate. Not gonna rest there and check out what he's doing. We're gonna talk to the gate. You may pass, there we go. That of course changes it over here on where the fire is. And now we are actually going to take out these camps again just like we've seen a little bit ago. We're gonna, we're gonna take down these camps. More level one mobs to go ahead and farm. There we go, taking out a couple more maulers. There's one more camp on the top left. There we go. So pretty much we wiped the maulers into extinction again. That way we don't have to deal with them anymore. People say they're the weakest faction, so I guess they just uh, took them out. All right, so now we're going to go back to Rowan. So we're going to go ahead and question Rowan. And we are going to take down Verk. When we come down here, boom. There is Verk. So he was hidden Mauler Merchant. So we're gonna take down Verk, completely done. And there we go, great work. So now we're gonna go back through our portal. There we go, and there is our final chest, guys. There it is, a very, very long, intensive voyage, guys, but there it is, you are our hero. So overall, boom, there's our 999% extra. The Depths of Time 3 is complete, guys. Again, thank you for staying with me. Four times you have to run it. Thank you, Lilith, for allowing us to essentially run the exact same thing four times because that was an incredible, incredible amount of investment time for an AFK game. So let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And as always, thank you guys for watching.